Hi everybody, it's Diane. I'm right back with that monochromatic flip book. We should be on to yellow. I cannot find a lot of yellow stuff. <laughs> so we're skipping ahead to spring green. And as you can see to my right here, I have quite a lot. I don't know if it's enough. Isn't this neat? It looks like a pickle in there. They did not tell you what the drink was. They were just advertising the tumbler. <laughs> And yeah, I know that's kind of big, but I think that's probably a good thing because these pages, as I pointed out, are getting progressively longer. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know what I'm going to do about yellow. I did think of fabric, looking for that, yarn. Wouldn't you think you would not have problems with yellow? I would. It's very windy here. I don't know if you can hear that. If you hear a weird rushing sound, it's the wind. Well, <laughs> I don't know. Well, okay, if it was the other side. This does not match that very well. Yeah, that looks okay. No, I don't like that. Maybe we should put some of that on this. Or more of that on this. Does that make sense? This is cockatoo or whatever it was. It was a statue. Now this is all magazine, I believe. Yeah, and be glad I did not film looking for yellow stuff. I, I've gone through almost all of my magazines, which you know, I don't have a million, I don't have boxes and boxes or anything like that, but, you know, a considerable amount. Yeah, that doesn't really match, does it? I will save that for the junk journal. But I could not find yellow stuff at all. And I mean at all. I for the and of course there's two yellows I don't know if you remember one's a little paler for the paler one you see over here that's it that's all I have I'm going through a bunch of magazines I don't know all right well that's not bad well maybe we won't use this Okay, is that enough for this side? Not really. <laughs> you want to go through a magazine? Here, I'll look at this real quick. Maybe there's some leaves. And if you're, you know, trying off to do this, you think this is great. It may not be for everybody. I will point that out. If you, this, a project like this is a lot of hunting. I would say it's almost more hunting than actually arranging stuff, you know, and making, making something. So think about that. But if you like that or don't mind that, it's fine.
you could always, like as you're doing other projects and you see just say yellow things, cut them out as you find them and set, set them aside. And then when you have enough, you could do a page. That's a good idea. Okay. Okay. <laughs> I'll pause and glue this stuff. Uh, that could be it. <laughs> I don't know. I'll come back. We'll see if it's done. If it is, we'll do something else or not. Or I'll just sign off. I don't know. Come back in a minute. Okay, well, we're not quite done. It's a little bare here, and then there's a space on the other side, too. It's pretty good. I mean, just one little... So let's look together. Maybe we can find something. If not, I'll finish it off by myself. Are you getting this? They're bringing the Barbie dream house to life. <laughs> July 16th, 8 p.m. I did think this was cool, although I don't like the price. That neat. It's wallpaper. Too bad there's no pink, right? Well, what about just the leaf? Yeah, I noticed there were some patio umbrellas in this issue. I think they're too late for my umbrella glue book page. They'll never fit on there. And no, I'm not going to start another one. It's not bad. That's better, but it kind of looks upside down. <laughs> That's okay, but that for some reason that way it needs something else with it. Green quote marks. Maybe those could go on the back. It's quotation marks. Yeah, thank it right. I should cut that out for my Fiesta glue book stuff, shouldn't I? Well, it's in the smash book. Fiesta wear. Okay. Here's where that tumbler was. Oh, it is saying, I'm okay. Melon cucumber cooler. Garnish with cucumber spears. Okay, it's not a pickle. It's a pre-pickle. <laughs> it's a cucumber that wasn't turned into a pickle yet. Don't plant this. Do not plant this. I don't know. <laughs> It's hardy and less aggressive than infamous climbers like English Ivy. Uh.
Do what you want. Do what you want. My advice is don't plant it. You want some? I'll sell you some. tip do not plant that do not plant ivy do not plant clematis I'm speaking from experience okay I'll put that down there unless you have 27 hours a day you can devote to gardening And don't plant trumpet vine because somebody like me might be allergic to it. Okay. That's pretty good. Should put leaf by the leaf. Okay. Just because we can, and otherwise I'll probably just throw this out. I'm keeping it out of the landfills. How about that? This makes such a difference. Okay. All right, this one. You know, this is rather lacking considering everything else. So let's see what these would do. By who knew she'd get on a soapbox about Virginia creeper and ivy. Or uh, with wisteria. <laughs> yeah, I have a thing or two to say about that too. And I'm not saying that stuff isn't pretty or anything like that. That's not my my issue. Okay. Go back in your yellow pile there. I actually, I wanted to do yellow because of the two colors there. I was afraid they're going to start to get mixed up, so I thought we'll just do one. Then it's glued in and you don't have to, you know, shuffle it around on the counter, except I don't have enough stuff. Yeah, actually, I didn't realize that when I started this. These last, you know, several pages, they're pretty darn long. I think it's the length is nine inches, isn't it? I mean, that's longer than, you know, notebook paper is wide. If that makes sense. You know what I mean. No, that makes sense. Come here. <laughs> They're trying to tell me something. They don't want to be in here. Okay, that's kind of cute. Is this area bothering anybody? It's okay. There's a little, you know, plane around. But is it too much there? And if it is, what else are we going to put there? Actually... I think Diane answered her own question. They have a true false flower IQ quiz here and the TFs are all green. I'll ask you one question. Let's see. Uh, okay. What are the spots on the rose plant down here on the leaves? Is it light, black spot, sooty mildew, or leaf rust? It is black spot caused by fungus.
Okay. You gotta water plants at ground level, you know, with the ground. And then they won't get that icky stuff. Why'd you ask us such an icky question, Diane? There are better ones for these little. <laughs> uh, all right. Do you know your tulips? I think I know the answer to this one. Just a minute. I don't know. This may not fly if I can't cut it. Okay, that'll be all right. Rembrandt, fringed, Darwin, or parrot. It is parrot. That's what I thought. But I didn't want to say that and come off looking like a dork like I usually do. All right, I tell you what, since this is such a pain to cut, I have to let this stuff dry anyway so I could trim it. I'll do that off camera and then come back one more time Maybe I'll give you one more quiz question and then we'll be done. Hang on. Okay, we're all set. I think those worked out fine. I added another TNF because it was so fun to cut out I wanted to do it more. No, because it two weren't enough. It didn't look right. Okay, cute. I will say to I never thought of this until I added this yarn down here. It's fine. But if I was to do this again, and if you haven't done it yet and you're thinking about it, think about this. Maybe you don't want to go all the way to the edge. Yeah, that looks a little dumb. That looks okay, but plants, you know, what is that? Um, the green, I didn't do this intentionally, but I didn't go all the way to the end, and I think that looks better. Or, you know, maybe you could just add a washi tape or something to the bottoms. I don't know, but I'm not totally in love with the, you know, hodgepodge look there. So think about that. And think about where am I going to find yellow stuff. All right, well, spring green is done. And I'll give you your last little flower quiz. Talking to your plants may make them grow faster. True. Some research has shown that plants respond positively to sound and vibration. It may help them grow taller and more quickly. Okay, go talk to your plants. Don't talk to Virginia Creeper or RV because you don't want it to, you know, grow faster. <laughs> All right, everybody. Have a good day. Thanks for watching.